last time that I played Black Prison here, I recall the Black Prison being played for a YouTube exclusive, I believe. I could be wrong about that, but I think it was. So it's actually never been truly featured on the stream. Now, if it has, please correct me, but I don't believe we've done this. Now, the last time that I did run this, we had a few things in here that didn't go so well in our league. Namely, we had Dark Confidant instead of Pack Rat. And inspirationally from last night, if you checked out Avaros' stream, we are inspired by Pack Rat. And so we are going to have Pack Rat in our list as a mana dump. Now, one of the things that was brutal with Dark Confidant is we have several three drops and some four drops. And sometimes you bring in other things like damnations and, uh, well, just damnations, which is another four drop. So we're going to stick with just Karn, Liliana Luris, but have Pack Rat instead. There are a few options we have to add things. We've added Plague Engineers over Collected Brutalities. I could also look at options for, say, Feed the Swarm, considering I am an Inquisition and Thoughtseize heavy list. Like Red Prison, this is a monocolored list, and what it is attempting to do is outvalue your opponent, make them discard, and then win from a locking type of position. We just don't lock with Blood Moon. We don't have Chalice. Instead, what we're doing is we're locking with things like perhaps Liliana, stealing everything, and then getting Karn down with either liquid metal coating, maybe the bridge, or at that point probably having gotten enough value that my opponent will just give up with our Lurises and Pack Rats. <laughs> Black Prison Tribal Rats. Indeed. <laughs> But this is what I'm going to try. This will be our second outing with the list. And I'm hoping that I've learned some things from the last time. I really want to put these Feed the Swarms in. I think that was a good suggestion from the world beyond Twitch, that being the YouTube comments. I kind of want like a one or two of these Feed the Swarms. And I almost want another Blood Chief's Thirst instead of the Fatal Pushes. And I'm not so sure that I need the Plague Engineers because I have quite a bit of removal, but the Plague Engineer did interest me. What does Twitch chat think? Do we want like a pair of Feed the Swarms for Plague Engineer and swap a Blood Chief and, uh, for, in for a Fatal Push? What do we think? It's about the only thing I'm thinking of. We have Damnations here, which is kind of interesting as well. We could also randomly go get a Smother for those that are not familiar with Smother. <laughs> what do we think? Any any suggestions before we send this one into the league and burn some play points here on the stream tonight? Nope. Really thinking I need that feed the swarm, but maybe we just don't worry about it. Plague Engineer is kind of cool. I could have a Kalidus here. You're ready for this one for? All right. What deck is Plague Engineer good against at the moment? Rats. It's good against Rat Tribal. Prison deck with a Lantern. Lantern Control is back. In some version. I don't know if I have Frank or Z emotes. I do have a better Twitch TV. I think I've enabled them. I'm trying, Lord. I'm trying. What's up, Calcium? Seven months. Lucky seven. Make sure we get some hype in the chat. Thank you so much for that resub. Getting there. Upping our sub count. We're doing some crazy things with that sub count. Thank you so much all for the support here in the beginning of 2021. That's on you guys. That's your job. Support. I'm here to entertain. I, I think I do have the Frank Erzy. I think it's a better Twitch TV thing that I can enable it. And I want to say it's enabled, but I just don't know how to make them. That's for you all to enjoy. We have some of our better Twitch TV emotes. People don't use the Landfall one very often, even though we played a Landfall list. <clears throat> Oh, 
Clearly, I need to get Rat Jam in here, too. Clearly. All right. Starting off on the play, getting the sneezes in. We have Double Bobble, Fatal Push, Inquisition, One Land. Doesn't even come into play untapped. Sorcery the Collection, I don't know what that is. Oh, this is a one lander. We have two bobbles. I mean, we have two bobbles. We have two. Mulligan here. All right, we can keep this. We'll ditch one, feel the ruin. The Liliana, Fatal Push, and Alluris here. I'm hoping to top deck maybe something on two. Oh, it's a play on magic. I got it. I got it now. All right. Field gone, swamp in. These are the secret layer swamps, too. They're pretty sweet. But I'm. I'm guessing the volume is fine. I had changed the volume for another thing we did that should be out soon. Serum visions for our opponent with Spire Bluff Canal. Why are these? There we go. Flicker it a few times. The art eventually shows up. <laughs> it's going to be one of those days. Here, let's flicker. Oh, it's that Serum Visions. There we go. I solved it. <laughs> Solved it. One bottom, one top here with the Serum Visions. We'll probably just be playing this Swamp here. Inquisition or Thoughtseize would be a nice draw here. All right, our turn. Let's go past the upkeep. You got this. Click that button. Don't make this a long game here. So the black prison ones, you you adjust the black prison for the or the dark confidants for pack rat. We'll take that serum visions and pass the turn. Do, 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 do. All right, steam vents for our opponent. We took the serum visions with a soul guide lantern. Just sitting here, they do shock in. And they do nothing here. I wonder if I'm supposed to Liliana or not. Hmm. Kind of concerned about Liliana and then my opponent just has something crazy here. Rat Jam's not in here. Rat Jam's for Avaris's thing. I definitely don't have a counter. I think I'm going to just pass. Just kind of make this shock not worth it for them. If they're Storm, we're looking okay with our Soul Guide Lantern here as well. If they're more Blue Moon, we're in trouble. It's an island. And Brawl? What's up, Last God? Good to have you here. Coming in clutch. Helping us get to the 75 we need. Okay. Goblin Electromancer. I can't get the art to show up. <laughs> Definitely going to Fatal Push this. We'll see if they have a Remand. They do not. Alright, this is a pretty easy Liliana turn here. So Liliana, probably uptick seems okay here. We'll uptick getting rid of a Liliana as well, and we'll pass the turn. Luckily, we have a fair amount of Ashiox and Soul Guide Lanterns. I imagine it's a very brave world to be playing Storm with all the graveyard hate from people. They get rid of the <clears throat> visions, the Salun Salundi? 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 Ah, ah. Baral. 
and fires up a ritual. Really don't know why half of these don't have arts in them. They eventually get them. This one eventually got it too. Magic's just being silly. Desperate ritual here. We'll just call out what's being played. Six mana, not eight mana. Desperate, desperate, desperate. Oh boy. If we're going to see a lot of goblins, it's going to be bad. All right. Empty the Warrens. We're going to go ahead and draw with the Soul Guide Lantern here because when I play Luris down, I can replay it. It's a lot, a lot of little guys. By the way, Plague Engineer, anyone? Anyway. All right, so I can get rid of the last card in their hand by just upticking. I don't know if down ticking really makes a whole lot of sense here. It could. Yeah, Plague Engineer's in the sideboard. We'll be bringing it in. Hmm. I wonder if down ticking makes any sense here to kill some stuff. It's probably fine to just uptick here, do a thought seize, lure us down with a, as a blocker. Gifts and given. It's not a bad one to see here. Play Luris, replay the Soul Guide Lantern, and pass the turn. I don't know what this is gonna do for me though. I can redraw here. I can gain some life with Luris. They come in for seven. Ah, uh, yeah, it's for rats, but just in case it's not for the rats. He was a bad rat dad. <laughs> I imagine they just come at me with all of this. Oh, oh, oh. Send six at this and then a little bit at me. I'm kind of good with this. I will just save my life total some here by killing one of these. Basically negating everything that they're doing right here. Bam. So we need like Karn. Karn go get bridge. Hope they don't have a counter. All right, let's go ahead and draw again. Oh, land. That's not good. Top deck is a... Don't kill this. Don't kill this. Don't touch Lurus. I feel like they would have killed it anyway before. Upkeep. Just get rid of this upkeep stop. You don't need to worry about the upkeep stop opponent. And a minute gone. Liliana. All right. Soul Guy Lantern first. It feels like it's probably worth a redraw here. Get rid of Empty the Warrens. Let's do, let's do a redraw here. There we go. Let me think here. If I play the land down, I can Lily down tick. And then I can have Pack Rat plus Pitch next turn. That seems like a fine line here. Just make them get rid of a creature and maybe they'll attack this twice as well. And it gets down to eight. All right. It's as good as it's going to go. Go ahead, opponent. And now we have Pack Rat plus Pitch Pack Rat. And I assume they might send two here. Gifts ungiven. This is really bothering me. Why don't these load? Oh, Brawl's back. There we go. What's up, Brawl? How you doing? <laughs> At least our cards are filled in. Theirs will eventually. So 
So what do we get? We got a pass in flames, grape shot, and all of this. So I think I have to hope that they whiff here, and I'll send Pyretic and Manamorphose to the yard and hope that they just they they really just whiff here to allow me to get the Soul Guide Lantern back. So if they hit like a Serum Visions here, if they hit non-lands, we'll be good. Just not a ritual. They're not firing anything off immediately, though this opponent seems to be playing fairly slow. Grape shots here. All right, that feels pretty good. Feels pretty good that that is what they chose to do that turn. Opponent's going to do its attacking. I may not get to pitch with Packrat unless... Mm, I probably need to get this Soul Guide Lantern down. <clears throat> Attacks with everything. I don't know. The Serum Visions is what I'm thinking. But then why not just Serum Visions and kill Luris? Good question, right? I don't know what they drew. Maybe it's another Baral. Could have been, could have been another Baral. All right, top of the library is a land. All right, so we're going to Soul Guide Lantern here. Or maybe we're in the draw step. There we go. I think it's Soul Guide Lantern to avoid Past and Flames doing something kind of broken because we can keep these in check. And then we'll play Pack Rat here. And I like the idea of playing Pack Rat, even though it could be killed. Oh, Remand. Oh, it was a Remand. That's what it was. All right, well, Soul Guide Lantern went to hand because it's not flashback, it's actual cast. All right, uh, let's get rid of Grape Shot. Dangerous card. Let's play Pack Rat and pass the turn. This looks pretty good. Now, I'm not going to block with Pack Rat. We're going to hold on to Snow Covered Swamp here because I'm probably going to use this in response to a Past in Flames. We're going to block one of these. We'll take six and only really take three because of the block. And then we're going to make Big Pack Rat. This is already better than Dark Confidant. Look at this. Past in Flames. It's funny that they do this now. It's just kind of funny because they're basically saying, oh, I don't have another land. Well, maybe they didn't want to do the whole Grape Shot thing. They, they just wanted to play casual, casual mode. Maybe my opponent's learning. Let's keep that in mind. My opponent is, after all, playing a little bit slower. Maybe brand new to the MTGO interface. After all, it's a very strange interface. All right, one, two, three, one, two, three. I think it's just Soul Guide Lantern still to keep their graveyard in check. We're miles ahead of my opponent. And then we'll just uh, plan to pitch a thing and do that. Not gonna attack with Luris because this is keeping us super in the game. We're about to start taking over with Pack Rats. Feel pretty good here. Serum Visions for our opponent. Just a learning opportunity. Look, this mountain's blank, too. Madness, you say? Madness? Whoa. All right. Swamp pitched here. This is a lot coming in at us. They have the Serum Visions. They could have a Grape Shot here. The Grape Shot kills this anyway. So I think, unless they have, like, an Electricery or something strange like that, I'm going to just block like this. This feels safe. I'm going to go ahead and draw the card as well. They can't really do too much that's too frightening here. I mean, at some point, I suppose they could kill Luris, and then not having this as a way to get rid of this is a problem. But now we have Karn, and Karn could go get all kinds of stuff. So feeling pretty good about this now. New pack rat. What's better than paying three for a pack rat? <laughs> paying two for a pack rat. Pack rat. Maybe I'm just maybe I'm just pitching Karn. I don't know. I feel like I can get on the offensive now. 
Activate and pitch. Bam. Hit for uh, 11. <laughs> Take that. I don't have Damping Spear. We're not playing Red Prison. We're playing Black Prison. Manamorphose. You got it, opponent. I've got some chunky 4-4 four, four pack rat. Double white. Double white was made. Concede. All right, so we take game one here against Storm. Look pretty good. Fat rats. They are pretty, pretty big. All right, Duress, Plague Engineers, Ashiox are coming in here. Pretty happy with these options. I probably don't even need much Karn here. We can probably drop a few Karns, basically replacing them with Ashiox. That's got to be pretty okay. You almost want like an one of damnation, just take all four cards out and then fit three plague or two plague engineers and a duress in here. You can probably trim one fatal push for a duress and then like one Liliana for a plague engineer and then just you know bobble for the last plague engineer. It probably looks something like this. The rats did the rats are already doing more. I mean, yeah, they died to the main deck lanterns. We have another lantern that I can bring in if we're doing this, which makes me just want to take one bobble and bring in another one. And now I have three main deck plus the Ashiox. Like, maybe I don't need to get so aggressive with the Ashiox here. But this just gives me so many outs to their, their graveyard. And I think I can just win from there. Uh, push is probably a little bit better than Blood Chiefs. Yep. Let's go ahead and not go so crazy here with the Ashiox. Let's keep one and two Karns, and Karn can find Bridge or Batter Skull in a in a pinch if we need it. Yeah, this feels all right. Ashiok puts us up to four hate pieces for the graveyard here. Anything that recurs with Luris here is pretty nice as well. We have interaction for our opponent, Plague Engineer and Damnations, and some extra discard. Almost makes you want to play one more damnation here over something else. Just in case they get that that state, but I think we'll be fine with this. Seems good. Feels like we could lead from here. I have a foot rest under the desk. I've got to move it so I can scoop closer. All right. Thoughtseize steal something. Ashiok slam it. Let's go. Let's go. My opponent mulls to five. Game's over. Prison. <laughs> Prison. Let's see what this five looks like, opponent. I do really enjoy having Inquisition or Thoughtseize. I like putting the challenge on myself when I get to see the opponent's hand at picking the best card. Being a little more proactive than, say, a counterspell. I like this approach to playing Magic a lot more than counterspells. Though I've played my fair share of them in the past. Alright, opponent likes their five. Let's play some Magic, opponent. You got this. Spire Bluff Canal, Serum Visions to lead things off. Scry goes. I just realized MTG bot's there, but we can make this a little bit bigger. There we go. Look at that. Looks pretty good. That'll work. All right, both cards were scryed to the bottom. We'll bobble and check what they're drawing, and then also thought sees them. Ooh, that's a good draw. Electromancer, so I can't take everything away from them. They're gonna have a remand and a manamorphose and a desperate ritual. I see. All right. Hmm. 
We know it's Electromancer next. They don't know that. Am I supposed to just take the remand here so that I can play cleanly and not worry about how much mana they have here? That's got to be dangerous. Let's do it. Let's live dangerously. Thoughtseize taking away the remand here. My opponent's going to probably jam out a Goblin Electromancer. They know, or they know we at least know what's there. Extra Luris here, allowing Bobbles in the future. Shiv and Reef played. Come on, you got this. You got it. Electromancer down. Hoping to draw removal. Well, we do, but it's a little bit later. Mindstone play for us. Opponent's got Manamorphos, Desperate Ritual, Unknown card. They may try to go for something here. Oh, Baral. Uh-oh. <laughs> this feels super good. <laughs> like, really good. <laughs> oh, get damnationed. Spot removal. Who needs that? This looks really good. I can now Thought Seize and then line up an Ashiok or even Luris them if they have nothing of relevance. It's just Manamorphos there. It's probably Luris, Thought Seize, Bobble. It's got to be just this, right? I'm not even going to Thought Seize first. Bobble, see what else they're drawing here. And then correctly thought sees something away. Don't bully the storm player. Oops. Oops. And we draw. Oh, our finisher. They picked up a Serum Visions. <clears throat> Plays the Serum Visions. <laughs> So we have one card we don't know about because they ended up getting to draw it before I get to Bobble. They scry one bottom, one top. They like the top of their library here. We could shuffle it away. We could mill it away. We can see what it is, see if we even care. And my opponent's done. They're done playing magic with us. They're not interested to see our rats, our Ashioks, and they don't want us to see what's on top of the library. Match one, complete. Slightly bullied the storm player. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> oh. I love it. I love I love that we top deck pack rat and we're like, we've drawn our finisher. <laughs> the finisher that is the one one rat. <laughs> it's so sinister. It is, it is so sinister. Oh, I'm glad I have two damnations in here. We don't need those field of the dead cards coming around. We don't need, we don't need the feed the swarm for us. We don't need to run into Uro. We got that in check. Oh, it's going to be a good league. No veils, please. No veil of summer, please. How's everyone's Friday night going? It's Friday night magic here on the stream, getting to play some magic. Hopefully you're all enjoying your entering the weekend. Some of you, it may be a long weekend as well. All right, this next opponent, let's go. Waiting for them. Hit that button. Join. Click. This button. Where are you at, opponent? They're too scared of the black prison. Mono black prison, not their t cup of tea. Guarded by the cat. It's got lots of rats. And Karn is the warden. Liliana stops by as well. Leading chief officer. <clears throat> All right, next match. Let's go, let's find that opponent. What about two scrying sheets for some card filtering? But then I don't get to play this sweet art. You commuted eight hours today? That's a lot of lot of commuting. Hopefully, hopefully you weren't like stuck behind something. Giovanni MF is our opponent. Double discard here, plus Liliana. 
I'll uh, keep. Opponent is 2 0. We're 1 0. Battle of the Titans. I suppose scrying sheets would look pretty good right now, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? And with Pack Rat, maybe it does make sense. I'm just not a big proponent for playing scrying sheets. I think it's a silly card. Scred players will disagree and flame my YouTube channel later. It's a great card. Snowlands are important. They're fictitious. I don't even know what the snow stuff is. Maine to Maryland. Those are some tiny states up there. Seems like a long distance though. All right, opponent has kept seven, happy to do so. We're gonna go ahead and begin with an Inquisition here. And we've got what appears to be Grixis. So we have a Stubborn Denial here. We have one land, we have Street Wraith, and we have an Inquisition. I suppose in some ways I just want to go ahead and take the Inquisition here and then worry about like Death Shadow later. That is our best draw here to take. I think it's just Inquisition protect our hand here. Let's do that. You forget how compact New England is? Yeah, it's pretty pretty compact set of states up there. Especially that Rhode Island. Scalding turns a new card for my opponent, fetches. Watery Grave shocks us in. Makes me a little worried that they drew, and they did. Thoughtseize. All right. They're going to take our Liliana here, probably. That was a good, good draw for them. Eight hours won't get you the length of Florida. Eight hours won't get you out of, out of Texas. <laughs> Am I going to jam the prelim in an hour? No. I don't jam the prelims as much as people think, ooh, they took Thoughtseize. All right. Hey, <laughs> Pack Rat. Showing up clutch. They think they're going to stubborn denial me. Ha. <laughs> Joke's on you, opponent. All right, we have a fetch and a shock here for the Death Shadow. Gets to put a 3-3 Death Shadow out here and hold on to stubborn denial. Pretty good for my opponent. Oh, we get Fatal Pushed. Now they can't play out. We'll play a land, we'll just have to pass the turn here because we know they have a Stubborn Denial. Not gonna run a Lily out straight into the Stubborn Denial. Fetch Shock makes the Death Shadow large enough that Liliana can't be played now. Well, that's all right, we can hope for a Fatal Push off the top, then I can Liliana to bait something out and then attempt a Fatal Push, the Death Shadow. They could also play their own Liliana if they wanted to. Death Shadow played. 3-3 three, three, that we're aware of. Uh, all right, well, we'll get the Stubborn Denial out of the hand here. Fetch Shock here, or at least a Fetch to make this a 4-4 four, four Stubborn Denial played here as well. Do it first. Play the Stubborn Denial first. No, they fetched. The tough thing here is the fetch and the shock here, and then playing Stubborn Denial. They have Snapcaster plus Stubborn Denial, so removing this Death Shadow is going to be super, super difficult. We have Flooded a little bit here as well. Scalding Tarn. My opponent hasn't played... Oh, no, they have played Bloodstained Mire. Snapcaster and Liliana are left. They just attack for six... or. Nine. They just attack for nine here and play probably Liliana. They could also just snap caster to defend this. So in for nine. We almost need like a Luris here. Luris and then get to play Pack Rat. Inquisition won't do it. Nine, ten, eleven. We'll see if they fire off the snap caster in response, which is what they should do. Snapcaster stubborn denial at the very minimum. 
They don't like this because they're worried about this card right here being a fatal push. They just don't know that yet. Snapcaster. <laughs> we'll allow them to target Stubborn and I'll and then concede. All right. They have 11 power on board and we're at 11. Okay, so how's this one change? Damnations can probably come in as removal for this. On the whole though, we basically need to just play our normal plan here. This one's probably a little bit weaker to Death Shadow than say a Red Prison. Abraham, what's up? Pack Rat would have been really good. They ended up top decking a Fatal Push. I like I like having my Pack Rat here. I definitely like Luris, Liliana's. I almost like taking like a Karn out and bringing a Damnation or even two. Like either of these is getting killed. And if we do Karn and down tick, we're not playing Bridge immediately. And that gives them an extra draw towards a Stubborn Denial. Where this kind of gives me like, if they don't have the Stubborn Denial there, we get the Damnation. There may be an argument for some Plague Engineers here too instead of like soul guide lanterns because they don't use their graveyard that much yes Gurmag angler i see you but the plague engineer can get under stubborn and isla in at least block so i like that let's go make those changes submit might even be worth it to play a batter skull instead of a karn but that's five mana and i'm i've, I've found that four mana is kind of where you get to unlike pyro prism which has 30 sources of mana this only has 26. I like the juxtaposition though of mono black prison versus mono red. It's, it's kind of it's kind of funny because I think the combination of them can be very powerful too, proven by Rakdos mid range currently in the meta. All right, let's get some pack rats down. Look at that pack rat! Look at that little guy! All right, let's play first. Well, this hand doesn't do a whole lot. I don't think I want to bobble and then just not do anything. Let's mulligan this. All right, we'll keep this, get rid of one damnation, take a look at the hand, and then we have removal. This is where like a quicker bridge or something like that would make my opponent have to react to me, where I'm kind of having to react to my opponent. So this is where Red Prison probably wins bonus points. Pack Rat. Pack rats OP. Keep, get rid of a damnation. I kind of like what else we have here. And we'll lead with a thought seize. Opponent also went to six here. Rat jam. We don't we don't have rat jam in this channel. No, no rat jam. Maybe I should fix that. Better Twitch TV emotes. Dashboard. I can remove one of these. What would I remove? All right, let's start with the Thought Seize here. They have their own Thought Seize. We have a Mana Leak this time around. Thought Scour, Stubborn Denial. I guess we're protecting the hand again, although this Mana Leak is kind of frustrating to see. Let's see here. You guys never use this one. Remove this one. And now how do I find a Twitch TV emote? Add, there we go. It'll be here soon. All right, opponent takes a Liliana even though they'll have the counter for it. Watery Grave was played. Bobble. And yeah, let's go ahead and check it out. Polluted Delta Beam picked up. Get the draw here. Blood Chief's not a bad one. I don't know what I'm getting myself into. Avaros didn't tell me what I would get myself into. We're not playing Rat Tribal, we're just playing some Pack Rats. All right, Stubborn Denial is open here if they want to use this on the Mind Stone. They might be like, well, if I stubborn denial this, then they're going to get the mana leak or get to thought seize me. So they may let this resolve. Polluted Delta fetched here. Watery Grave, probably shocking in, and mana leak. 
Might mana leak now because it's the more expensive thing to do. Opponent decides Thought Scour first. Dismember, Watery Grave, and Thought Scour are in the bin now. And now we're gonna. Ooh, we allow it to resolve. Pass turn. It'll it'll show up eventually. Then I'll have to refresh the the channel thing. We have to wait. We have to wait. Gotta give it a moment. All right. Inquisition here. Let's go ahead and go for it. I'm either getting the mana leak or the stubborn denial out of hand here. Probably the mana leak. I guess let me know when it's good on your end, and then we can, we can go from there. Wow, they just let this happen. I'm gonna take the mana leak because the stubborn denial, yes, it does counter these, but it doesn't counter like Luris that could show up in my hand, Pack Rat, or Plague Engineer. <laughs> Modern Horizons 2 is gonna be Rat and Six. Uh oh. Bobble triggers for my opponent draws. They ended up drawing and not fetching. Kind of interesting line there. Extra Bobble here. Stubborn denial and an unknown card in hand. Not going to crack Mind Stone at this point in the game. Bobble. Let's wait until their upkeep here. Now I don't want to lose something to a Thought Seize. I also want to see if they end up fetching. They looked at themselves here and they like whatever they're drawing here, so we'll take a peek at what they're drawing. Oh, it's Death Shadow. That's a good one. That's a that's a good one. Not a bad card there. So we have what? Fetch Shock, maybe Fetch Shock, play Death Shadow. I try to Fatal Push, they Stubborn it now, and then I Blood Chiefs on my turn. If they play this first and then attempt to do something with a Fetch and whatever, we can then Fatal Push in response and avoid the Stubborn Denial. What's up, Dylan? How you doing? Mm, we have a Gurmag Angler, it looks like. Damnation's looking more important now. Oh, Snapcaster. Okay. Snapcaster. Stubborn Denial, Death Shadow, Unknown card. And does a Thought Seize here. Okay. That's totally fine. We're just going to let this all resolve here because I want to keep both of these to get rid of Death Shadow. Renin 7's the next card. Then Renin 8. And then in the future, 10 years from now, you're going to be like, oh man... There's W20 hitting us again, like W20 does. Ah, man, I just wish we had W6. I don't understand. Why do we have to deal with, with that card? All right. We're going to go ahead and play a Mind Stone. I'm clear to now use a Mind Stone as a cantrip here. Where's my chat section here? Well, it looks like they're going to attack us for two. Okay. In for two here. Stubborn Nile, Death Shadow. I'd imagine they want to play this at some point. Bobble. Death Shadow. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and Fatal Push right now. This plays poorly into a mana leak. We'll see if they have such cards. When it fetches and all that, so that they can play Stubborn Denial here, which is fine. And we're going to then can trip a Mind Stone as well. Extra draw here. <laughs> Fatal push. Nice. All right. I'm gonna use the Fatal Push because Blood Chiefs can technically kill Gurmag Angler here. All right, land looks fine here. We'll attempt a Fatal Push. Good to go. I kind of want to hit this. I don't know why. 
I just want to. Maybe this gives them red? Nope. Island. Bobble trigger, double draw for my opponent. We'll probably can trip a Mind Stone again. Not in any rush to hit the Snapcaster with the Blood Chiefs. They think we've used everything up, I think. Right? No, they know still about Blood Chiefs. Street Wraith. Okay, we'll just draw here again with Mind Stone. Pack rat. There we go. Ooh. Hmm. Huh. What do we think? Do they have another mana leak here? Do I lead with a pack rat and see if they want to remove this? They don't have any fetches, which makes Luris interesting if they have a fatal push. They've already gone over the dismember. Hmm. I don't think it's Blood Chief Sun Snapcaster. I think we gotta save that for something larger. It may be rat, and then if it gets countered, Luris and Rat, if I top deck a land, if they can't deal anything with this, this gets big really quickly. Let's do rat. Rat seems good. And if they fatal push this, that's fine as well. All right, pass the turn. Like you want to Luris and you want to get a bobble here, but that like fatal push there is just completely fine. I mean, we're sitting at seven versus 14 with a two one attacking us. I would love to just see a land here, Luris and slam in the rat again. I'm gonna tax us for the two. Especially if they have like another removal here. Alright, Death Shadow. That's a big Death Shadow. What do we think? They have a Stubborn Denial now? I hit the land. Now I could Lurus Pack Rat or I can attempt to kill the Death Shadow. Ooh. What's up, Joe team? Attempt to kill Death Shadow, my opponent goes in Stubborn Denials. I can then play a Luris here and do just a Bobble, which isn't really that bad. I don't get a second Pack Rat and I'm dealing with a 6-6. Six, six. I then top deck anything, Pack Rat and Pitch, and can always block this. I think that's fine. Let's go ahead and try to kill. I have Mana Leak Mana for this. Resolves. That's really good. Luris here. They don't know about this card. Oh, they had mana leak. They had mana leak. Okay, well we kill the death shadow, so that gives us some breathing room. Opponent shocks uh, or cycles a street wraith. Attacks for two down to ten. Top of the library is a snow covered swamp. We'll hold in case I top deck pack rat. Gotta gotta top deck that pack rat. Oh no, they're paying costs. Don't do it. Don't do it. No Death Shadow, please. Are they gonna Thought Seize me? Gurmag Angler. Now I need a Damnation. Oh. Hi there. One, two, three, four. I can't pay for... I can't pay for Stubborn Denial anyway, and I can't pay for Mana Leak, so let's not play the land in here and just attempt a Damnation. No counter. That's what I'm talking about. They have removal. All right, Bobble. Bobble, take a look. Fatal push coming here. Asking... He shall receive. <gasps> Garn, that great creator. Oh, I can check too. Thought sees first. Karn, the great creator. Clearing this mana leak out of their hand. Oh. Fatal push. Thought sees dismember. I guess I just... 
I take the thought seas here and plan for the boat. Am I going to actually do the boat? Take the thieves, grab the bridge. I could grab the bridge second if I needed to. I think it's boat time. I give this boat so much crap. This boat's turn to play magic. Does boat hit people? Hmm. Yeah, they can dismember the boat. Hmm. I guess liquid metal coating is fine here. We don't need to play our land past turn. All right, what do we know? We know it was these, right? Opponent street race. Man, I wish I had a walking ballista. That's what I need. This boat. Who needs a boat? Who needs a boat when you could have walking ballista? There we go. Liliana, nice. Any changes here? It looked like we had enough removal there. Yeah, where's walking ballista in this list? I don't see it. I have a I have a, a weapon and a boat. I don't have anything to stick these on though. Nothing. Macking boat boat lista. Sky, no, what would it be? Walking council skull, that's what we need. I don't think there's any changes here. I think we have plenty of removal. We have to get through those Inquisition or those thought seizes and stubborn denials some way. Like I kind of said, the damnation actually played a lot better than, than, than the Karn. If we would have top deck a Karn there, we would have died. So I'm going with it. I have three soul guide lanterns Viridian or two. Yeah, I have two. Oh no, I have none. Who, who needs Snapcaster? We don't bring Graveyard Hate in for Snapcaster most of the time anyway. Boat's the best. Eh. All right, my opponent gets to play first here. Can I keep a greedy hand here of uh, do nothing but avoid Thoughtseize? Yeah, let's do it. Gut feeling, this is fine against Thought Season Inquisition. Why? Because I have double redraw and I'll have plenty of mana. Opponent leads with Street Wraith. Leads with Street Wraith. Broken record. Read, lead, lead, lead. Two Street Wraiths. <clears throat> Polluted Delta. Fetch Shock, down to 13. Thought Seize down to 11. Pretty good. That's pretty good for the Death Shadow player. Had it on top. Inquisition. Oh, what it what Alright, well I guess I'm gonna take the stubborn denial. Let him have the thought scour. What's Jace doing in this list? Opponent. Go back to 2018. It's a skyship. Thought Scour goes over some stuff here. A watery Grave played for my opponent. Does shock it in here. Please don't have Death Shadow. Please. All right, Mind Stone, go ahead, opponent. They will have all the mana open here with a 4-4 Death Shadow. Island is played, and Jace and two unknowns. Thought Scour was known briefly. And now is not known. <laughs> Let's leave it at the Mind Stone here. Let's redraw here briefly. In case I get a Fatal Push. Alright. That'll work. It's not great. We're going to see Jace here and they're probably going to go up. I would imagine. I'm double checking the top of my library. I think they're just straight blue black. I haven't. Oh. Tried to hit the Fatal Push or Thought Scour or everything. We hit the Damnation. They steal it. 6 6 Death Shadow. This isn't looking good. Redraw. 
redraw. Oh, I should should have land in here. All right, in case it's a fatal push here. They're getting a Bloodstained Mire, meaning they have Jace now. This blue-black list is going to beat me with this Death Shadow. We draw. We have an upkeep stop in case we have Fatal Push, which we don't. We'll just take another land here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 of our 22 lands. Let's say Meyer here. Fetch Shock here makes us a 9-9. Nine, nine, puts the Jace in the hand. Jace into play or swing with 9-9? Nine, nine? And all they really should do with this is up on us. And check the top of the library. And they do. Please put it on bottom. Please. <sighs> Why are we thinking about this? Easy. Bottom. If it kills this, bottom. No thought. Doesn't kill that? Oh, they put it on top. Shame I don't have the Field of Ruin to reshuffle. We draw? What does this give me? Gets me nothing. If I didn't draw so much, I would have more mana for this, but at the same time, not very good. All right, opponent gets us with a 9-9 there. Nothing I can fetch. I mean, I can fetch a Spyglass for Jace, but I'm dying to a 9-9. Bobble. And show me more. There's a Fatal Push. There you are. There you are. We had four mana playing a land and getting a Pack Rat was definitely a potential line. Gives me a boat. I don't want the boat. Boat can go back to dock. Just sit there. No one wants to be on the boat. No one wants this boat. I don't even know why I have the boat in here. Throw it away. Where is this? Hidden area? Go in there. Oh, won't even go in the hidden area. Dumb boat. That was a close one. That was a close one. I like that. I like that. Maybe the Ashiox are overkill and I could have a Feed the Swarm in here as a one of, and then you'd have an extra removal spell, which would be really good for that matchup. I'm not disappointed though. It's a good start. By the way, is, is Rat Jam in yet? Here, let's, let's refresh this. Ah, uh, yeah. We're good now. We're good when we get Pack Rat. We gotta see the rat jams. I wonder if I can refresh this in here. Cause I can't actually see it in my chat because. Refresh chat, bam. I think I'm good now. Yeah, I can see it now. All right, let's play first. We got the rats behind us. Opening hand looks fine. Removal, Inquisition, Castle. Field, we got it all covered. Tron, we got covered. Creatures, we got covered. And combo, we have covered. Feels good. Look at that rat. I see what Evan, why Evan was dancing the other day. That ran. That rat. How's the record below look? Looks a little squished. I think it's all right. You have a one and a one. You can see that. Tall letters, right? All right, opponent. Mulligans to six. Not good against the Inquisition. We've had a few slower matches here. Nothing wrong with that. Taking our time, enjoying our pack rats here. Getting things done with the Black Prison. Not bad. Do we like our six here? Must be a really, really tough six here.
decisions, decisions. Make sure we're not auto yielding. Rat jam, cat jam, fluff jam, strawberry jam. We don't quite have that many jams. Where are we at, opponent? Must be must be a lazy Friday. Everyone's just kind of moseying around. We're here to play some magic. All right, we have a Fatal Push and a Seasoned Pyromancer. Well, we'll take the Seasoned Pyromancer. We don't have that much for the Fatal Push. It's a little off-center to the right. One, two. Now how's it look? <laughs> Plays a Swamp. We top deck a Fatal Push, which will be good. I guess we're going to line up this Liliana next. Polluted Delta for my opponent. And uptick. Liliana played here. I think I'm just going to ditch a fatal push so that I do hit Karn on curve here. Bloodstain Mire. We just need to update subs and followers to be higher. We have to maintain those for a little bit. I guess the followers I could. We got to pick a new goal for the followers. But subs I've got to maintain above 100 a few times. Ooh. Okay. Seasoned Pyromancer comes out here. Gonna probably make a minimum one token. Makes two by ditching two fatal pushes. All right. What would I want to get here? We know we know they have a swamp still in hand. Now play the boat main deck? No. Don't do that to me. I mean, I could go try to get a bridge. We can kill the Season Pyromancer with the Field of the Ruin as well. I think I kind of want to do that. Get rid of the Snow-Covered Swamp here, put the Field of Ruin in. They get rid of the Swamp, so they have two unknowns. Let's go ahead and hit this, and then go ahead and Fatal Push here as well. I think we're okay. And then they just have two damage that comes and hits us here. Maybe a bolt. And then they bolt, and then we have Karn here. They might have Crocs as well. Channeler. 1-3 plus an unknown card here. Tax 2 at Liliana, I assume. Does so. Okay. Probably want all of this down here. So we're gonna go ahead and play this into potentially whatever they have here. We'll uptick first and then we'll down tick here to go get probably just bridge. Cause we're about to lose one of these. Well, really only about to lose Karn. Depends on what they draw or use magnetic channeler here. Bridge is a way to stop them. Not really. <laughs> Thought seizing away the bridge here. I guess we're just going to take three to Karn here and continue up on our path with Liliana. If I find a removal spell, I'll remove the channeler and down tick potentially on an elemental here. Let's go up here to clear the Thought Seize and then use this to see if I can draw a removal. I end up not doing that. Let's hold it. Let's hold it in case I want to uh, uptick in response to something. Really, they can use this channeler pretty nicely. And if they find an instance or sorcery speed spell here, it's going to make this a 4 form. 
They don't. They end up hitting Inquisition and Swamp here after pitching a Blood Moon. Pretty... Oh. I think they should have done Inquisition here so that the Channeler would grow. But they're going to keep this for Season Pyromancer. Opponent attacks us two at Liliana. All right, there's a Thought Seize. We definitely don't want that. Uptick, get rid of Thought Seize. Land, one, two, three. Use this. Field, all right. My opponent does not do the Season Pyromancers here. Lucky for us. And my opponent's going to combat here, attacking us for two, three. We have an instant speed spell here. Liliana's just going to two. Uses a Bone Crusher Giant to follow this up, then follows this with a Bone Crusher Giant played. Pretty good for my opponent. Lurs? Pack Rat? Who needs those cards? Those are silly cards. One, two, three. Activate. You know what? I'm going to activate on the end step here so we don't get it stolen away. Four, five, six, seven. Puts me to ten. It's kind of rough. Are we just playing 50 lands? We're playing a lot of lands. Let's just put it that way. All right, Castle Lockthwain here, leaving ourselves a field just in case. We end up finding a pack rat here. So I can play pack rat, and then I can single pitch, it looks like. One, two, three, one, two, three. I could double pitch here if I played a land, but I'm going to just leave pack rat here and just pitch and use it as a blocker, probably. Oh, we have something here. Season Pyromancer. We'll just do the pitching now. So I can chump block here, potentially block here, depending on if this grows or not. Probably blocking elemental. I can double pitch next turn, which grows these considerably. Mm, I hate this. Can I do this? One, two, three, four. Hope that they don't have an instant speed spell here. Becomes seven if it's a bolt, I'm dead anyway. Okay, they had a bolt. I don't understand why they don't just bolt before combat to get rid of a blocker. All right, our pack rat doesn't show up fast enough, and apparently we're going to just draw a bunch of lands after pack rat. All right, let's see here. So, Damnation and Plague Engineers look pretty okay in this matchup. I like a pair of Ashioks. I don't have to go full on with those. Let's think here. The way we've been drawing, I want to just cut like four lands. <laughs> Let's not go so heavy on Ashiox. Let's see what this looks like. 63 cards here. Drop one Thought Seize here, one Fatal Push. That's probably incorrect. One Thought Seize is probably okay. Could even go with a second Thought Seize here and then like one Bobble. That's probably all right. Let's think about this. That was an ungodly amount of land draws. Yeah, considering I have 22 and we actually activated Castle three times, we kind of hit a lot of lands. We'll, we'll say that, that's for sure. This seems all right. Yeah. I want just a little interaction with that Ashiok. We'll be on the play. Okay. Let's go with this. Play first. Where are all the lands now? One lander. Pretty dangerous here. I think we have to go ahead and mulligan this. We have plenty of thought seasons and fatal pushes and blood chiefs to get there. So let's mulligan this. Okay. Keep, get rid of one land here, because I'm going to draw a bunch of them, and we'll uh, do some pack rat things. We're going to do some pack rat things. Don't take these. Thank you. 
Bloodstain Mire for my opponent. Swamp and Thoughtseize. Take Liliana, let us have a pack rat, shoot the pack rat, and then shoot the next pack rat. Sounds like what they're going to do. All right, well, at least challenge it. No reason not to. Just waiting to cast two pack rats doesn't really do a whole lot for us. Let's see if they have the fatal push for the bolt. And if they wait here with a channeler. Ooh, a stomp. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Let's do this land. Let's play new pack rat. That was strange. All right, new pack rat. See if they have a removal for this pack rat. They do. It's a dread boar. Do they have the next land? They do as well. Okay. Let's go ahead and it's Inquisition before. I don't want to unlock a bolt here by accident. We have a pithy needle and an engineered explosives. Engineer can be put on two. They've already killed two pack rats. The other thing it kills is a mind stone. So we have two pack rats or a mind stone that it can kill. So it's probably smarter to just take this pithy needle. I wonder if they have the random triome that sometimes these lists are playing, which would get it to three. Laris is at three. Let's take this pithy needle. I think it's the scariest thing. We'll go ahead and thin the list out a little bit too for both of us. Go ahead, opponent. Got this damnation here. You got Bone Crusher and some lands. Plays a Black Cleave Cliffs. We knew nothing about that card. Plays a Bone Crusher Giant here, and we top deck A. I'll take it. Liliana's not a bad one here. Liliana down tick. Clear the Bone Crusher. Polluted, polluted, and engineered explosives remaining for our opponent. Up to four cards. I like this because I can now draw and either interact or not. Polluted Delta, no interaction from our opponent. Fatal Push. We'll go up here. I've got the Damnation. Blood Crypt. So they have Polluted Delta, Engineered Explosives. Those are good cards. They apparently don't have that triome, by the way. We're not going to worry about this land. I'm going to continue to hold on to Damnation. I'm really afraid of a Season Pyromancer, I think. Yes, we're upticking here. My opponent could easily get a Season Pyromancer to the yard. Inquisition's pitched here. They're continuing to hold Polluted Delta plus Engineered Explosives. They don't get a triome here, so guaranteed this only goes up to two. Polluted Delta played. Engineer plus Unknown card. What do we think? Thought sees away the Engineered Explosives and then just uptick. Hope to never hit a Season Pyromancer. Or do I hold Damnation here? I guess this doesn't really do a lot, right? We just uptick here and then Damnation's here to clear so we can continue. We're just going to hold the Thought Seize, not worry about it. They're going to ditch whatever's the non-engineered explosives here. Oh. Oh. oh, they ditched the engineered explosives. They must think this other card's like a land. We're just ditching things that really don't matter. Well, we ditched a Fatal Push. I mean, I guess I ditched a land as well. K command, return Bone Crusher Giant, and puts this to two. They get the stomp now. That's really good for them. Nice top deck opponent. Nice top deck. Liliana? <laughs> Thought Seize. Do we care about that last card? They got rid of Engineered Explosives. K command for this. Is this a Thought Seize? Yeah, let's go for it. All right, Bloodstain Mire. Take two, me. <laughs> it's kind of whatever. Now it feels really awkward. 
Now it feels really awkward. Oh well. All right, let's find Alaris here. Well, actually, that's not very good either. Removal spell first. <laughs> Curiosity killed the wolf. Looks like it's going to. The real shroom. The reals shroom? Thanks for the follow. Thought sees. Attacks for four. All right. Play pack rat, <laughs> die. Play uh, Luris, pick pack rat up. He's doing what I'm doing, but better. He's definitely making it interesting. Can't activate this fatal push. Down tick me, down tick me, split my lands. <gasps> oh my gosh. We get value. Value. Got it. That was some pretty good value. All right, Liliana, I need to kill this bone crusher giant. Can you um can you hold there at 8? Pack rat. <laughs> I don't have anything else in hand to pitch to this though. It's just pack rat. Don't worry about pack rat. I doubt they down tick here to get rid of my lands. Tax for four here, and if I target this, we're dead. Damnation required off the top. That's a lot of lands. Why do I draw so many lands? I don't understand. There's Luris. Luris would have been great. Luris, play a pack rat. Why so many lands? All right, we're one and two currently with Black Prison here. Struggling a little bit. Maybe we do need to get those scrying sheets in here. We need a little bit more manipulation of the top, it seems. It seems we need a little bit more. Yeah, we lose to our own. Well, we got curious, right, with the Thoughtsies? We got curious. I'm going to keep this. We're keeping a one-lander. We, we draw so many lands, it's guaranteed land on top. Your par for the course for predictions. You're predicting things on the side. Grace has a side hustle of predictions for channel points. Law of averages says we draw no land. No, 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 no. We're on a hot streak. You watch. Perfect. Perfect hand. Top deck is going to be perfect. Oh, ho, ho. Hold, opponent. Guess I'll take the cigar to Zade. <laughs> I'm glad I did that. Woo! Dodged a bullet there. Thank goodness. Marsh Flats here for my opponent. Getting down the Memnite and whatever else. You can't enter, but you can start them. Oh, yeah. You see this card right here? What is that, everyone? That, my friends, is what we call a land. Let's play a Mindstone past turn. They have two Colossal Hammers. I'm not getting both of these out of their hand. Extra land for them. It's a Snow-Covered Plains. We know three of the cards. This is a Colossal Hammer. We'll probably restart the client after this full league. It's getting on my nerves. Extra Memnite here. We know all three cards currently. Karn the Great Creator is looking pretty tasty. Let's play Mindstone plus Pack Rat. Get that pack rat down. We die to a Sigarda's aid if they top deck exactly that. Uh oh. Marsh Flats put Luris into hand. I thought sees the Luris away because they're trying to get this into hand. Boom! Luris is into hand. All right. Extra pack rat. Guess what we get to do? Thought sees them and pack rat them. Thought sees and pack rat. Go ahead, opponent. I'm gonna smash you with two damage. Dying to only Sigarda's aid off the top. 
Redraws with Silent Clearing. Plays a Ornithopter. All right, we're gonna just die to anything now. Because Ornithopter is scary. Ornithopter is scary. What can we get here? I guess I could get a boat. Boat's not bad, I suppose. Let's go combat here. Actually, let's not go combat. That's scary. Let's go get a boat. I can't even cast the boat, but that's okay because everyone wants the boat. I have to kill the Ornithopter. That's what I have to do. If they play Sigardizade, they can attack in here with the Ornithopter and then use Colossal Hammers. My opponent gives up, though. Rightly so. Get Karned. Get Karned. Okay, so all this in. <laughs> Soul Guide Lanterns can probably come out. I know they have Luris. Maybe we keep these in. Scared I am. Liliana the Veil is not very good in this matchup. Maybe Luris, Liliana. Damnation may be too slow. One bobble here, one lantern. Like, just keep a one lantern in case I run into their Luris. Nah, I need the second lantern. Let's get rid of another bobble here. All right, I like this. Keeping all of the this the discard here. Have a few things for the graveyard. Leaving the Karn in because they can use a pure steel paladin to try to equip things, and we need to prevent that from happening. Also allows us to get the bridge. Looks okay. Got lots of removal. That's what we're going to have to lean on here. Lots of removal. Tons of removal. All right. Let's go, hammer time. This looks fine. We'll keep... We will keep. We can see what's on top of their library. We can either kill something or go for a thought seize on them. My opponent mulligans to six and down to five. Uh oh. Oh. Down to five. Where are we going, opponent? We going to four? You like that five? Turn two, five card kill? It's pretty good. Windswept teeth here. It's bobble. Okay. They're giving the turn right back to us. I can't really check once on top. I mean, I can try, I suppose. Yeah, let's just thought seize them. I'm not going to worry about checking unless they do some fetching here. We have a pure steel paladin and a stone forge. I'll just take the stone forge. I have the answer for the pure steel paladin here. By the way, this doesn't work right now. <laughs> Opponent fetches here, which is nice. We're not going to see one of these cards, assuming they use Bobble here. Oh, another Pure Steel Paladin. That's not. That's not good. <laughs> that's that's not good. All right, let's find another removal spell. I mean, I guess Pure Steel Paladin is not the worst because we have the Carns. It's still not. It's still not great to see. Okay, let's go ahead and check the hand briefly. <laughs> nice, and we'll uh, we'll kill this. Go ahead, opponent. Looking pretty good here. We've got him pretty cleared out here. Pure Steel Paladin. Anytime Alura shows up, we'll be in trouble. Pure Steel Paladin comes into play, plus an Ornithopter. Our opponent's hand is empty. The list of ours is encouraging us to play Karn, that great creator. I wonder why. I have Soul Guide Lantern in the bin here. I might do that. Oh, Thought Seize, go for it. What would you like? <laughs> All right, attacks for two here. <laughs> play a land, we'll play Karn. We're gonna go down ticking with this Karn. I think I'm going to actually get a liquid metal coating here because if they get the Luris, I can always I can always get a Soul Guide Lantern with this Karn. 
This local metal coating basically says, please have what you need right now. Colossal Hammer is played here. They get a redraw. Can't attach though because of Karn. Land drop was found. That'll be the last land they get though. Attacks the Karn down to one. You have a thought seize in case they get a Luris at some point here. Let's think briefly here. We have a Colossal Hammer. All right, I think it's Liquid Metal Coating here still and kill a land. I know I'm gonna lose the card to the Pure Steel. That's kind of okay though, because then I can probably thought seize them if they can't play or try to put Luris into hand and I can thought seize and Karn. And if I'm Karning again, I'm getting the liquid metal coating and clear one of these again. I think we're in okay shape here. Extra Ornithopter, all right. This thought seize is slowly becoming bad here. Oh, they do, they do hook up here. Okay, so now I need to go get a bridge. We didn't think about another another ornithopter and then being able to do that. All right, so one, two, play Mindstone. So play Mindstone. One, two, three, four. Four, play Karn. And then we boot up Liquid Metal Coating briefly here as a defender and then down to Karn to get a blocker. I doubt they attack with this, but they might. And with Karn in play and only taking two this turn, we should be okay. We can get this Liquid Metal Coating back eventually. Because Ornithopter doesn't fly because it has a giant hammer. All right, so this seems okay here. Wins up teeth. I'm hoping they go ahead and get this Luris into hand. Thought sees the Luris and down tick go get bridge. They can't move the stuff over to Ornithopter here. We're looking good. I guess I could have done that. You're not incorrect there. I think this line's fine, but yeah, I think you, yeah, you could boot it up and then it dis, it detaches there. I think this is pretty easy, pretty easy engineered explosive or not engineered explosives. Although that would be pretty good here too. Uh, bridge here. We'll pass the turn. I did not play rats again today. I have pack rat in the list. Giver of Ruins is a pretty good one here. Opponent could attack with the Ornithopter if they wanted to. Oh, Fatal Push. I guess I have to kill Giver here. Giver and go get a boat. Let's go get this boat you all like. Let's go get the boat. Play the boat, kill the pure steel pallet in here. I don't have to worry about Ornithopter getting something attached to it because Karn's here. If they can trip Silent Clearing here, hit Sigardazade Aid plus Colossal Hammer, then we have a problem. They would need exactly two cards, Runner Runner here. Runner Runner, and then they could kill Karn, but then they'd have things across on both Ornithopters. That's too big. Steel Staper Gift is not enough. The rat jam. Cranial plating for my opponent. Let's go ahead and just boat and pass turn. How does this work? Yeah, we can exile the liquid metal coating from our own graveyard here and then go get it in a second. 
Stoneforge Mystic goes and gets whatever they want. Doesn't matter. I have to beat his amazing record from last night. I'm currently 1-2 with a high probability of winning this game. My, my rats are more powerful than their rats. Inquisition away the Shadow Spear here. Look at these things. I mean, I guess I take the Colossal Hammer. We'll continue to create a, a flyer here that defends. We'll get this up to 5, 6 or so, and then be able to go get this local metal and try to end the game from there. It's kind of interesting because finishing the game here is actually kind of difficult for us because we have to clear their board to get through. Shadow Spear is played. Now they're realizing this doesn't attach to anything. The Thought sees. I suppose I'll take the Cranial Plating. Puts it into play. All right. I like the line. I like the line. We'll go up again here. Once again, I'm just kind of defending from the Ornithopter, but we're in a pretty good spot. We're also up on cards, so eventually I'll just lock them out and we'll just sit here and get to know our opponent really well. Oriok champion for our opponent. This O2 is in our way still. Luris isn't bad here, because Luris now gets Liquid Metal Coating back. And I don't really want to draw cards currently. I want to make sure they're locked out of this game. That's honestly what we need to do here. So let's do it. <laughs> there we go. Opponent respectfully concedes here. Basically, you start using Liquid Metal Coating, clear these. At some point, we'll find a removal spell, and then at some point after that, even though we have an Oriok Champion, we could just make a bunch of rats, and then basically what you end up doing is once you're wide enough with the rats, Karn, Uptick Bridge, remove your bridge with, say, Fatal Push or something, and then Swing Lethal. Should be pretty good. Oh, look, what was just going to show up? Pack Rat. Pack Rat. All right, we're 2-2. Two -two. Let's get it going. Match five coming up here, playing some Pack Rat Black Prison in Modern. And uh, with that, Kirkinator, we beat Avaris' record. We're currently 2 2. Last night he was 1 and 4. Amazing fifth and final match, though, from Evan, and hopefully we'll get something like that here as well. Match five. We're against the Earthling. Maybe we're the Martian. Rip your prediction? Rip. Laris deck, yes. Let's be, let's be hammer time again. Let's go. Grace, you know we 3-2 we very often. What was your prediction? 0-7? Thought mods had my back. Thought my mods had my back. 1-4. 1-4? Opponent mulligans to six, mulligans to five. Oh boy. Is this hammer time again? It's gonna be fun. I'm gonna wait on the bobble here in case I need it for a revolt trigger. If my opponent's mono white or something like that with the Luris here. A little ways away from this card being played. You're guessing Tron? It could be Tron. Nope. All right, Scalding Tarn. Okay. Fetch. Blood Crypt. Don't Thought Seize me. Play Swift Spear. Dang it. All right. Well, we'll take a draw here. We'll see what else we're drawing. And they'll take probably the Fatal Push. Tron would be, with Luris would be interesting. Be kind of fun. <laughs> would be kind of fun. All right, Fatal Push is gone here. We, it looks like we've got to beat another Death Shadow list. Which is frustrating because Red Prison destroys these lists. But this does not. Ooh, Inquisition. All right. 
Do I want to Inquisition something here, or do I want to Mind Stone? Let's Inquisition. They know about Karn. They don't know about the Inquisition here. Ooh. Ah, look. They had Bowmat and Swift Spear. Unbelievable. Plus, they have Knight's Whisper. All right. Do we allow them to draw more cards, or do we take the Knight's Whisper and let them have two creatures? Uh, there will be a second league. There will be a second league. What we're playing for it, I have no idea. I have a reasonable amount of removal in this list. I'm going to take the Knight's Whisper. I'm going to take quite a bit of damage here off the Bowmat and Swiss Spear. We're going to take three initially. I think this is okay, though, because I can Mindstone, Karn, and potentially go get a bridge and then hide behind the bridge. My opponent may not have as much burn if they have a little more of the creature package. All right, Swiss Spear. Bobble. We have a bow mat left and they're going to draw a card. Polluted Delta, bow mat, blood crypt here. Hits for three, down to 17, 14 to 17. No cards in my opponent's hand, plus the draw of the bobble. All right. Nice. Oh, the field of ruins. I'm telling you, if we could if we could figure out how not to flood out like crazy, we would we would do all right. We would do okay here. Extra land here. Luris is an option, one card in my opponent's hand, down to 12, making Something like Scourge, definitely online, but also Death Shadow. Opponent attacks here for two. No prowess trigger currently. Not going to draw with Mindstone just yet. We might want to play Soul Guy Lantern off Karn. Opponent doesn't do anything here. I could go get Bridge. That was sort of my plan here. Could go get a boat. Could go get Batter Skull. It's not a bad plan either. They didn't put Lurus to hand, so they have an unknown card. Kind of looking at this Batter Skull. Obviously, if they cast anything, Karn's just dying. This Batter Skull is like. This Batter Skull is calling my name. It's going to get thought seized away, isn't it? He uses Bow Mat here, discarding a Fatal Push. Ooh, spiders here. The Spiderlings, what's up? All right, they have two random cards here. I think I'm still going to go get Batter Skull and see what this does for us. All the people are here after all. They are here. What's up? How's it going, Spider? How is your league? What were you playing? Maybe we'll play the same same list. You should drop that list in the chat. Buenas noches. Fluffy rat too. Bolts away Karn. All right. I respect that. 3-2 with Yorian Taxes and 4-1 with Gabos. Bone Mat and Swift Spear. Batter Skull safe. Uh-oh. Hits for three, down to 12. 12 all. Bowman has a card under it. Oh. All right. I think it's I think it's Batter Skull time. Let's do it. Look at that Batter Skull. Look at that Batter Skull. That germ. 
You want to add one land to goblins? This is a 22 land deck. We've hit more lands than we care to have. Magic Online's also being a jerk. Death Shadow here. Okay, it's a 1-1 one, one Death Shadow. Interesting. If they attack, I block. We got the Liliana. What if I just start fielding them? How many basics do you think they have? <laughs> Ooh, yeah, get in there. I think this is a pretty easy block, honestly. I don't care if you bolt me. I don't care. Bolt me. What's this? Teamer Battle Rage. Wow. Yeah. Solid. I'm good. I'm good. We trade. I have a Batter Skull for later, and I've got a Liliana. Give me a Fatal Push. I'm looking for one. <laughs> I'm looking for one. Oh, all right. That gets rid of Luris. Mindstone. Am I returning the one, two? Let me think here. One, two, three, four, five, one, two. I'd have to hit another land to be able to do Liliana and Batter Skull. Pack Rat in honor of the Rat Pack. Pack Rat is in the list. We gotta honor the Rat. I gotta. I gotta follow the wave. We could Liliana down tick as well if I wanted to. If I Liliana down tick, I'm not doing much with Batter Skull. Let's uh let's go for that top deck land because that's all we that's all we draw. Top deck land. It's gonna be right here. We're gonna pick this batter skull up at end step. My opponent does some fetching and shocking here. Hurts us a little bit more. That's what I'm talking about. Just smack me for two. Easy mode. All right, down to 14, 12, 14. A couple things under Bowmat. Would you please kindly put Laris to hand? Then I'll just do Batter Skull plus Thought Seize. Put the big one there. What is this? Scourge. All right. Land. It's too good. It's too good. All right, one, two, three. Liliana, down tick here. And then five for Batter Skull. I'll lose Bowmat or Death Shadow here. They probably want to keep this, although they know Batter Skull's coming, so maybe they don't. Batter Skull makes this a 1-1. One, one. <laughs> All right, Batter Skull's in play. Go ahead, opponent. And if they want to kill Liliana now, they have to attack at least with both. Oh, Bowmat's being used. Calm down, opponent. It's just Batter Skull. By the way, we can always pick this up and replay it. I'm not saying it's the greatest idea, but it's an option. Batter Skull being the pick off that Karn earlier was probably the smartest pick there. Polluted Delta. Okay, got a little fetch shock we can do. Two unknowns. I had a dud land. I'm just going after all their lands, seeing what's happening. Lightning Bolt's Lily. Okay. Laris to hand. No attack. Another Scourge. Dismember. All right, Dismembers our Batter Skull here. It's a 6-6, six, six, attacks us for six. Down to eight. Well, we keep hitting lands here. So one, two, three, return. I'm just gonna Play a land here and five on the batter skull. New batter skull. Opponent fetching. him. 
Lucky for us, it's vigilant, so we can like attack and then replay it and everything. We need to avoid a, a fatal push. What do you get? What do you get, opponent? Are we gonna finally put Lurs to hand? It is time. Combat. I am going to block. We die otherwise. Block. Cool. <laughs> Up to 12. Shrinks this a little bit. Swift Spear. And then puts Lurs to hand. Okay. All right. Oh, Pack Rent. Now we just make Pack Rat a, a thing. Do I have to kill the Luris here? One, two, one, two, three, and then I have four left over. One, two, draw, use, and then I'd have four left over. Honestly, I think I'm supposed to Thought Seize here and then pick up and replay Batter Skull one more time. So Thought Seize to get rid of the Luris. And then pick up Batter Skull, play Batter Skull. Because both of these die to a Fatal Push anyway. Repeat the block, and then the following turn, Pack Rat. Pack rat, throw pack rat, and if I top deck a land, I can play it, put the batter skull on one of the pack rats. One, two, three, four, five. Return and replay. All right, we got a four, four again. What do you top deck opponent? Don't don't kill me. Don't be fatal push. <laughs> oh, they're attacking. All right, rinse and repeat again. Definitely blocking the 10-10. Block. Oh no, not team or battle rage. Lightning bolts me, okay. Down to seven, oh, back up to nine, lose the batter skull. So it was just a bolt. Okay, I'm feeling pretty confident now. Liliana. One, two, three. One, two, and then one, two, three, four. Mm. This is five, ten. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. I need like one more land to do a lot of the things I want to do. And one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Play Lily. One, two, play Pack Rat. Use Mind Stone. That doesn't work either. All right, we're going to go Pack Rat. And plan to pitch with the Liliana. So I get a second one and I can chump block here. Then I can hook up and start attacking and creating new Pack Rats. That's the idea here. The only card that kills us now is Teamer Battle Rage, and they've already used one of them. It can't be a removal spell, because I will make a new Pack Rat. Then we're back to Batter Skull, because we would have to chump. The Bloodstained Mire here. We'll make a second Pack Rat. I wonder if I'm supposed to cantrip the Mind Stone here as well, now. Like cantripping the Mind Stone here gives me seven mana. 
five, eight. No, it's eight. Mine stone here. I'm blocking here. This is five to equip plus three. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we cracked the mine stone now. Gives us an extra draw here. It's just a land, so that's looking fine. Oh, yeah. Equip time. Equip. Definitely attacking here, and I almost want to just pitch here instead of trying to kill. We'll see if they block here, but having an extra pack rat seems good. I mean, I guess they're at three. And I have a batter skull here, so let's just go ahead and kill. Let's just kill this. Go ahead, opponent. It like makes pack rat vulnerable for a turn, but I can always bounce the batter skull. So I should be playing this down so I can bounce at end step and then get to replay it if need be. There we go. There we go. All right. So what did we do last time against this list? We did Damnations and like Plague Engineers. I think I kept, took out two bobbles here for two like Soul Guide Lanterns. And then I think, it might've been just the two Damnations now that I think about it. The Plague Engineer was because of the Stubborn Denial, but this isn't Stubborn Denial. This is more of a Luris build, so I need to keep my Soul Guide Lanterns in. And I think with the Lurises, the Damnation... Man, that Batter Skull did all kinds of work. Why are you guys all hyped up about Boat? Batter Skull is where it's at. Boat crazy people. I kind of just like the two Damnations. My opponent's not on blue. These make great board wipes. Let's do that. Let's go. Keep everything else. The batter skull was crazy, wasn't it, Beanball? It just kept bouncing, and when we finally flooded out, it was good. All right, we're keeping this. We have the pack rat. We have a fatal push to clear something. My opponent probably has Inquisition or Thought sees here. Just going to have to deal with that, but the Mind Stones here will get us deeper into this game hopefully a little bobble here blood crypt was put into play shocked double bobble use here at the beginning we had a one lander double bobble earlier tonight thought seizes as well all right take pack rat probably i love it they have to choose between pack rat and fatal push what do you take assume you have a creature <laughs> pack rat's too strong Look at that. Pack Rat got a turn one thought seize out of our opponent. You heard it here first. Pack Rat, the new meta. All right. Snow covered swamp here. We'll leave a swamp here on the far left here, specifically the exact one that they uh, don't know about. Cracks their bobble, gets a draw here as well. Back up to five and then draw six. So they don't lose too much here with their bobbles. What's up, Nom the Puppet? Thank you for the follow. Thank you, thank you. All right, did they find their second land? If not, this is going to get real awkward for them real fast. I like having a castle here, too. The castle's really nice. Okay. <laughs> did we not find our second land? That would be really bad. And this would be a lesson to everyone. Don't keep double bobble thinking you're going to hit that land. Don't keep triple bobble. That was one of their draws. All right, land. Oh, no land, all right. Play Mindstone past the turn here. <clears throat> We're not really drawing anything special, we'll say that. Let's see if my opponent finds that second land here. Turn three. Has drawn three times with Bobbles. They were on the play. So by this point, they've drawn five times. Swift Spear has been found for my opponent. They're attacking us for one. No second land just yet.
Karn the Great Creator, down tick, go and get Batter Skull. And they'll either have to Thought Seize this, or we'll have a Batter Skull in play. And we know how my opponent feels about Batter Skull. Thought sees to take the batter skull means this comes in at two for Karn, which is fine. Bolt Karn, that's the line. All right, we got a two, three, just a singleton Swiss spear. Thought about trying to go for the whole liquid metal. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, Liliana. Lily. One, two. Mindstone Lily, or are we playing Batter Skull? I suppose if Batter Skull got stolen from our hand, we'd be really upset here. Let's just jam out a Batter Skull. I think it would be really silly to lose this to Thought Seize. I'd rather have it on the battlefield. Yeah, Skull it is. Skull it is. And if they attack, I'll I'll block. Ho oh, ho! We found it. The Delta has arrived, ladies and gentlemen. Fetches and shocks in. We've got Death Shadows. What do we got? Don't put a Scourge in, you'll die. Germ's gonna smack you. Extra Swift Spear plus Death Shadow. A 2-2, two, two, a 1-2, one, one, two, and a 1-2. No attack from my opponent. All right. Let's take a look at what's going on, opponent. Inquisition. We have an Inquisition for them, a Swiss Spear, and a Scourge. I'm really not worried about the Scourge. Probably just take the Swiss Spear and give them the Inquisition, because I'm going to empty my hand here. Mind Stone. Land. One, two, three. Lily. Uptick. Incoming a braid? <laughs> ah, a braid. All right, Inquisition gone here. I don't really see a reason to attack because that's just going to grow Death Shadow here. We're just going to play nice and casual here. Scourge plus Unknown. Nice and casual, slow, steady magic. Black Prison magic. How much mana do I have again? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, we're not quite at the eight that we were doing last time. This is a double down tick of a Liliana as well. Looking pretty good to clear some of these if I wanted to go that direction as well. If I end up getting a uh, Fatal Push or something else, I might, might do that. We'll see how much comes in here. All right, so we have quite a bit here. I suppose I'll attempt to block Death Shadow. I know it's Scourge if they bolt themselves. Kind of miss out here on killing something. I suppose if it was a bolt though, they'd only have to send in the two here and not risk this. I'm gonna block a Swiss Spear actually. I have other ways to kill the Death Shadow. I'm going to block at this so that they have to throw a bolt here. And that way they have to throw the bolt here instead of throwing the bolt upstairs and making their death shadow larger. What, no attack? I just played this batter skull. All right, there you go. Bolt there instead of growing death shadow here, and we lose Liliana either way. That's fine. Scourge is the only thing they have there. Let's play a... One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Not quite enough here. Play a Mind Stone past the turn. We can return Batter Skull to hand here if we want to. And I guess the Batter Skull wasn't, uh, wasn't, I guess, summoning sick there. So I could have. I could have, um, Attack there, but then that just grows the death shadow, and that's not what I want to do. All right, scourge for my opponent. We'll return this to hand. Hmm. 
<laughs> land. So many lands. Let's draw with one of these. Mainly because I picked up the land there. Play Batter Skull here. I'll play a Soul Guide Lantern. I'll probably be can tripping this. Let's go ahead and get rid of one of the bobbles, I suppose. Go ahead, opponent. Okay. But yeah, back to that Death Shadow No Attack. I just didn't want to attack them, give them four, and make this a 6-6, six, six, and then I'm dealing with this random 6-6 six, six that I can't shrink. I can shrink Scourges. I can't shrink Death Shadows. So they need a removal here of some sorts. My opponent's really struggled to find another land here. We are at turn eight. We have a bow mat. That won't do it. Let's not auto yield here. We are drawing with our soul guide lantern. Field, not what we want. Fatal push works. So here's a perfect example of where now I can I could probably even cantrip a Mind Stone here to see if I find a second removal of sorts. Or just something else. Let's go ahead and see what else we can draw here. There's a Bobble. We can check if the top of our library is worth a draw here. It's a Pack Rat. If we take another draw here, I can then play Pack Rat. Go ahead and just attack with Germ now. We'll see how they block. There we go. Perfect. Now we can Fatal Push one of these. Doesn't really matter which one we kill here. Alright. Oh, I guess we draw with this Bobble anyway. I was thinking, oh, I don't want to have an Inquisition or Thoughtseize take Pack Rat here. I think we're I think we're okay though. They've got a, they've got a germ they've got to deal with here. I get to play pack rat and then make a, another pack rat here. Oh, no, Croxa. Okay, we're fine. I'm actually gonna go ahead and take damage to do this instead of wasting my mind stone here. And if I get a second really good card like that, we'll just do this too. All right, I, I like that swamp. Let's get rid of that. <laughs> Save the pack rat. <laughs> My opponent has struggled here a little bit, not being able to find more lands. But I, I think we're good. Double pack rat here and then pitch to pack rats. Start smacking my opponent. This game is time to time to go. The double pack. I don't even want Karn. Let's let's go, rats. Let's go, rats. <laughs> we know what's up. Yeah! Pack Rats, that finisher, got taken at the beginning, closes the game out. 3-2, Black Prison, Rack Pack, uh, not Rack, Pack Rat Prison here in Modern. Here's the list. Big change from our Black Prison list that you might see in the deck list description uh, for those on Twitch, and I'll update it for YouTube, is Dark Confidant was in there. Instead, we're jamming Pack Rat there instead, and it has been beautiful. Love it. Absolutely a joy. We replaced Nile Spell Bombs with Soul Guide Lanterns as well, and that seemed to work just fine. Um, you can get rid of the boat. I say that, but we actually used the boat to block an Ornithopter for a while. You could still get rid of the boat. Just saying. I don't think you need the boat. List is going to struggle with any artifacts because we don't really have any artifact removal, but generally speaking, you can always work through that with Karn. 
because you can always take the artifact and make it into a creature and then blast it away with some fatal push. That was sweet. List is awesome, and I'm actually starting to really enjoy this more pack rat kind of kind of red prison. I like it because of rabble master. Black prison. I like it because of pack rat. It scratches that little child in me that wants to be playing the cool creatures. Pack rat is a cool creature. Karn, the great creator, Black Prison here, getting it done, 3-2 in modern. 